I want to talk about my 1981 Benelli 250 Quattro, made from 1975 to 1983. This was the smallest four-cylinder motorcycle you could buy. Honda had its 354, which soon became a 400, and Kawasaki had its 250 two-stroke triple. But this was a four-cylinder, four-stroke motorcycle. Benelli made several four-cylinder motorcycles at the time, a 350, a 500, a 650, and of course the 756. As I mentioned in my last video, all of those were derived from the Honda 504, and because Di Tommaso owned both Moto Guzzi and Benelli, there were Moto Guzzi versions of each of those, except for the 6. However, this engine was designed exclusively for this fight. It's a 231cc single overhead cam dual valve motor. It's fed by four 18 millimeter Delorto carbs and exits through these four tiny exhaust pipes to two mufflers. It produces 28 horsepower at 10,500 RPM. Everything about the bike is tiny. The front forks are Marzacci 28 millimeters instead of the usual 30, 35, or 38. That front brake caliper is the smallest Brembo ever made, an F05. And they did what they could to keep the weight down. For example, the motor is hung from the frame by the top and back, and this bar at the front, but there are no tubes through underneath the engine. There's an extensive use of plastic the side panels, the rear tailpiece, and in fact the tank cover is all plastic. There's a lot of interesting features. The gauges and instrumentation are in the tank. If you lift up this panel here you'll see the gas cap and that the tank itself is plastic. There's also the front brake master cylinder which is operated by a cable from the front brake lever and then is hydraulic from there on down. Looking at the tack you'll see the red line is at 12,000 rpm. When you're riding around town shifting at 6 is more than enough to keep up with traffic but when you get out onto the highway or onto a place where you can let it go twisting the throttle when it passes 6,000 rpm you get a kick in the pants and it really takes off right through to the red line. That's where the power is made Below 6,000, it feels like a 250 might feel, but above that, it's surprisingly fast. On the highway, 110, 120 kilometers an hour is about 8,000 RPM. It puts you right in the heart of the power band, so it's a surprise to me that it's no, not even no problem to keep up with traffic. It's easy to pass cars because all the power is right there in your throttle. The suspension is firm yet supple. There are passenger pegs, however it's a bit crowded. It's an upright seating position and that seat is about as comfortable as it looks. Because it's so small and light, it's very nimble. It dives through corners well. The brakes work well. I imagine that front would fade if used hard, but I've never made that happen. Rear brake has lots of feel and it's overall just a really fun bike to ride being so small and so unique. Not many of them came to Canada. That's about it for the Benelli 250. Thanks for watching.